Real Scene TV is paid for by Leland Brown State Farm Insurance Agency. Welcome to a new episode of Real Scene TV. Theater, music, and more, we have you covered. Here's what's coming up tonight. Alex goes behind the scenes at Phantom of the Opera. We take you to the How God Works comedy show featuring Darius Bradford. We get to know two of the newest team members at Comedy Sports and how they prepare for the upcoming World Championships. Kelly takes us inside the Empower and Grind Summit. And I sit down with Scott Lintner about the Independence Day concert and what it benefits. From our couch to yours, Real Scene TV starts now. Real Scene TV is sponsored in part by the Story Foundation, making dreams come true. The Phantom of the Opera is one of the beloved Andrew Lloyd Webber classics, and Alex talks to the Phantom himself. In all your fantasies, you always knew that man and mystery were both. I'm here with Chris Mann. He is the Phantom of Phantom of the Opera. Welcome to Indianapolis. This is your first time? It's not. I actually, um, my, I kicked off my last tour here at the Murat at the Egyptian Room, so it's my second time here. It's really great to be back. Uh, now you're mentioning your tour, so people could also not only can see you tonight, but they've seen you before. Where else have they seen you? Well, I mean, a very obvious one would have been from The Voice. Uh, it was a really awesome experience, and I kicked my tour after that. I had a couple of PBS specials, and I started right here in Indianapolis. So it's been a couple of years, but I'm very happy to be back. How um, has The Voice and all those things that you have done prepared you for The Phantom? Well, getting, I mean, I've, being on The Voice certainly prepares you to perform under pressure. So, um, I. You know, I sing for 20, you guys have 2,600 seats in this theater, so here we'll do 2,600 seats a night. Um, and so that, that definitely comes with experience, and all of us have a lot of performing experience, but I'd say the voice helped help me with that. Um, but it's a totally different animal, being a solo artist and being an actor as part of a company, and that's what I really am enjoying about being part of this show, is, is being one member of a, of a company has been really refreshing. I mean, and not only that, you're you're the lead. You're you are the Phantom. That's kind of kind of a big deal. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a wonderful part. I mean, it, pe people aspire to play this character, and I, I certainly did growing up. Uh, so I'm very proud to be able to do it. A lot of people have seen this production, but uh, there are a few people that have not. So could you tell the story a little bit? Not don't give away spoilers sure. to the Phantom of the Opera. Uh, well, the basic story is uh, the phantom that lives underneath the Paris Opera House. He has a birth defect that makes him quite difficult to look at. He's been bullied and shunned into isolation. And he, he, while living in this lair that he's created for himself, he's compo he composes music inspired by the ingenue upstairs, uh, Christine Daae, who he's in love with. And her old childhood flame re-enters the equation, Raoul, which is not good and uh, throw in a couple other characters who make things interesting for the Phantom, where he puppeteers his way and gets what he wants until it all comes unraveled. Uh, that's sort of the basic gist. It's a, there's a lot of fire, there's some murder, Scandal. some super famous music, amazing costumes, a falling chandelier that will fall on the audience. Um, and it's a beautiful story, uh, very relevant still today. And this show is a little bit different. What's so different about this performance than the original performance? Well, this is a reinterpretation of the show. It's a redirection. Um, it's really just a modern version, 2016 Phantom versus 1980s Phantom. And it's a very explosive production. It's a beautiful production. The staging is incredible. The set is brand new. The chandelier is brand new. Um, so if you've never seen it before, or if you've seen it many times, you're going to love what we're doing up there. So very exciting. This is the Phantom's cape. It's sort of the most iconic item in our show. Uh, you can see sort of the level of detail, the hand beating, 
Uh, the hand, all of these costumes are handmade, one-of-a-kind originals. Uh, from the Tony Award-winning design by Maria Bjornsson for the brilliant original production. Uh, they were so iconic, they were the one piece of the physical production that we wanted to hold on to and make sure that audience got to keep enjoying. How many costume chains changes does one character go through? Uh, some of our ensemble members change as many as nine times. Uh, if you're Christine, you'll change seven times. One of those costume changes is in about 20 seconds. Uh, you change from one 40-pound dress to another 40-pound dress, so you really have to be an athlete if you want to play Christine or work in the wardrobe department. The next Broadway production in Indianapolis will be Rodgers and Hammerstein's Cinderella, November 15th through 20th. Well, the Comedy Sports World Championships are coming up this June, and Indianapolis is the proud host. Our very own Terrell Woods has been a player for over 18 years, and he introduces us to some of the newest comedy sports players. Terrell, you uh, won the coin toss. What would you like to kick us off with this evening? Let me look at them. Let me look at us. We want to do a beastie rap. Oh. A beastie rap. Oh. 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 All right, please assemble your teams while I play. Simple. Blue team, we are going to start with you. Vegan. One, two, three, kick it. Tell me what you think about championships, being a person who hasn't been here for not even a year, what you possibly expect. I don't know what to expect, and that's how my brain is. I'm just, I'm just hoping to do some awesome, uh, like, uh, awesome training sessions with some people and just see some amazing performances. I mean, we're going to get everybody from around the world, so I'm hoping that that's what we get, just this, this mixture of amazing people. Tell me exactly what do you think about comedy sports since you're joining in. Tell me what you think about the camaraderie and, and the familyness with all the different cities and stuff leading up the championship. I think it's great that like everybody from around the country is just like we're gonna congregate, we're gonna work, we're gonna come together and just show people what's going on in all these areas. And I just, I just, I love that aspect of improv. Anyway, just it's people working together. And now we're getting people from heck, even Germany and uh, London. It's kind of insane how far this olive branch goes, isn't it? <laughs> All the way from high school kids to across waters. Yeah. Ben, you ready for championships? I'm ready, baby. You sure? Heck yeah. Meet all these people, be around these other funny people, people doing things that you, you're trying to accomplish? I'm going to feel nervous, but I'm ready for it. All right, well, we got one of our new faces here, Ben Rocky. He's ready for the championships. Are you? Tell me what you think about the actual improv interaction with the fans. I think that's exactly what what makes improv come to life and comes makes it really connect the audience members with the players on the field and with anyone who does improv. It's really wonderful to see audience members see magic come to life when they say words and people are able to use their minds to come up with scenes and gimmicks and jokes just on the spot just from words that, that they're suggesting right off the bat and that's why I think makes improv and comedy sports itself so magical. <laughs> it is my turn to attack. <laughs> All right, are you ready? No! <laughs> Josh has really been over this in training. Alright, alright, this is like the, you're like the 14th generation to inherit the You only have one chance. You only have one chance to be out there. You only have one chance to leave your heart out on the field. Uh, you only have one chance to really be yourself and to really make the characters and you don't get a second chance of going back out on the field. You don't get, you don't get another play. You don't get another suggestion. They give you one and you have to go with it. The Comedy Sports World Championships is June 8th through the 11th. To get your tickets and learn more about the multiple match pricing, visit IndieComedySports.com. Coming up after the break, we take you inside the Empower Grind and Grow Summit. More comedy from the How God Works Comedy Show, and I sit down with Dr. Littner to learn more about the Independence Day concert featuring AWOL Nation and Ludacris. Don't go anywhere. Closed captioning for Real Scene TV provided by DNACustomT.com. 
Get the Love Indiana t-shirt and other custom designs at dnacustomtee.com. Equipment in part provided by Roberts Camera, family owned and operated since 1957. Looking for the best in indie nightlife? Look no further than the Taps and Dolls Complex. Located at 247 South Meridian, the Taps and Dolls Complex offers not one, not two, but three floors of nightlife fun. Check out our collection of games at the Boiler Room Barcade, dance the night away at Taps and Dolls, or take things to the next level at the 247 Sky Bar. Pay one price and get three hot clubs, or visit Joker's Comedy Club for free admission. One, two, three levels of fun. When it comes to indie nightlife, the other guys just don't add up. According to Fortune magazine, the number of businesses owned by African American women grew 322% since 1997, making black females the fastest growing group of entrepreneurs in the U.S. The Empower Grind and Grow Summit celebrated the achievements of local business owners of all races and held a series of workshops and other networking events for business-minded women to learn. Kelly takes us inside the conference. Talk to us a little bit about this summit and why you guys are having this. Um, the summit is for just to fill in the gap of the need for Indianapolis women um, to have that full empowerment and just um, help women find their visions and restore their goals and get back to that. And how did you guys get the start of this? Like, how was this created? Just somebody just had this idea or, or how did this come about? Yes, um, actually, we, we all were together and we just realized there, these are happening around the country, but yet they're not happening in, in that full force in Indianapolis. So we realize there's a need. We need it here in Indianapolis so we can all have that cohesive um, feeling together. And so we all came together and we said, okay, what can you bring to the table? What can you bring to the table? And we just did it together. It's always a, it's actually a group of empowered women because that's what you, you are empowered when you're with other women and you're doing it together. So um, we did it together and it was just a great feeling. Um, but Chisa is the mastermind behind it, uh, Ms. Chisa Torrance. Um, and I am just surprised. I knew it was gonna be great, but I didn't, I didn't yeah, it, it went over and beyond our, all of our expectations. Um, I think the whole concept of empowering businesses and women is, you know, it's just something that we need. Um, women businesses are growing at a high rate, and I think the support of other women, you know, only can make it better for, you know, each of us. So I think it's a good thing to be, you know, involved with, with a great group of women. It's important for us as women because we are the leaders. We really are. We are the backbone to our men, but we really are the leaders. You know, they are the, in the front, but without us, they don't really make it too far. <laughs> it's so bad. But we are so strong, and this is just going to empower us and build us up more. So I'm really excited for Chisa and her staff to do this for us. And I'm just so glad to be a part of it. Tresene was one of the speakers, the workshop speakers here. Tell us a little bit about what your segment was about. So we talked a little bit about some of the brand reputation things, uh, branding protection things uh, for new entrepreneurs. So helping them understand that they got to protect their business, which would be like the king piece in the game of chess, and then how to protect their brand identity, which is more like the queen piece in a game of chess, and then how the two work together to really help win the game. For those at home, what would you recommend for them starting their brand? Um, I would recommend the first thing they should do is create an email list, create a, a group of people who are interested in one thing and provide that one thing on like a weekly basis. So I really want people to get serious about business. If you are in business, get it done, hustle, activate your hustle, dream, pray, hustle. If you're not, go back to your job and just and, and be, a, be a good employee, okay? My biggest hurdle is walking in faith because financially, um, the money was not always there. I mean, and, and some, sometimes today, you know, the money is not there to do and make that moves that I want to make. But, you know, in negotiating and just being a people person has really carried the weight for me. I think you just have to learn as much as possible all the time. I mean, you could do whatever you set your mind to, but I mean, one of the uh, spokesmen in there was talking about reading books and we're big on that, you know, both individually and at the store. Um, I mean, as much as you can, if you can set 15 to 30 minutes a, a day of reading, I mean, it's just, it's amazing what you can bring back and 
set yourself apart. So I think that's the biggest thing that's been very helpful with us. To keep up with other networking events Empower will host, visit them online at IndieEmpower.com. Gospel After Five is a venue located inside Washington Square Mall that hosts family and faith events. Recently, they hosted a sold out crowd to celebrate our mothers with a night filled with laughter from some of the fastest rising comedians in the Midwest. I loved it. I thought it was great. I think? thought it was excellent. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think we, we, all of us that came tonight really enjoyed it. I thought it was just absolutely wonderful. It was so nice to be able to come out and enjoy clean comedy and to just enjoy the comedians. They all were so good and I really, really enjoyed it. We brought our moms out for Mother's Day and I know they enjoyed it also. Yes, give me the number one with the uh, they cut in trying to sell you something they don't order too much of. Would you like to try a Dr. Pepper with that? I was like, no, I would not like to try nothing like that. I would like the orange drink that all the black people get. As a matter of fact, for that, don't put no ice in it. Let it fill to the rim and bust through the crack. I get it. My cup has run it over, and I'm loving it. Act like y'all see. This next comedian, y'all ain't seen this brother on nothing. Coming all the way from Georgetown Road. Put your hands together for Dwayne K. Yeah. Excited about being here. All the beautiful people make some noise. There were some people that are still quiet, so all the ugly people make some noise. I'm gonna shout y'all out too. I'm gonna leave nobody out. I'm trying to make a career out of this. The congregation came to me and they said, you know what, Pastor Jordan? The congregation is struggling. Why don't you give up some of those fine cars, a couple of those houses, and that private jet that you have? Mm -hmm. They said it a month in, but they wasn't crazy enough to come say it to me. Illinois is like no other short. In the short version of, my company is like no other LLC, and what LNO is, is our principles. What LNO is loyalty to God, that's our first principle. Our families, we walk in love in uh, our community, which is very important to us. Basically, me and my brother Ike have been doing clean comedy for uh, a year now, and uh, we met brother Alonzo here in Washington Square Mall, and uh, we decided to do a show, but kind of cater more towards the Christian audience. Well, with tonight being uh, close to Mother's Day, Mother's Day and it being how God works, just the theme it, itself is uh, pretty, uh, pretty nice to kind of uh, connect with mother it's because mothers are really uh, our, our next God. You know, the God, mm -hmm. <laughs> the God uh, on earth God. Right. Mothers are so special and, you know, to be able to come to Indianapolis and share laughter with, um, you know, in, in respect to those who have, you know, nurtured us and uh, made us who we are, mm -hmm. you know, I'm really overly appreciative of that. I enjoy myself. Um, a lot of world need this. A lot of people think that if you're in religion or you don't like uh, all the stuff that goes around in clubs, this is a great atmosphere to have that. You know what I mean? You get to laugh without the black and mild smoke, without the crown roar, and have a great time. People came here from 10 years old all the way to 100, so we had a great time. That's what I'm talking about. Faithfully funny. The next. Now do you see how God works comedy show is June 11th at Gospel After Five. Coming up after the break, we learn more about the Independence two-day concert in downtown Indy. Looking for the best in Indy nightlife? Look no further than the Taps and Dolls Complex. Located at 247 South Meridian, the Taps and Dolls Complex offers not one, not two, but three floors of nightlife fun. 
Check out our collection of games at the Boiler Room Barcade, dance the night away at Taps and Dolls, or take things to the next level at the 247 Sky Bar. Pay one price and get three hot clubs, or visit Joker's Comedy Club for free admission. One, two, three levels of fun. When it comes to any nightlife, the other guys just don't add up. Check out these comedians coming to Joker's Comedy Club. Jared Harris is June 3rd and 4th. Rhea Butcher, June 9th, 10th, and 11th. Jackie Cashian, June 16th, 17th, and 18th. Well, I'm joined by Scott Littner. He is the brainchild of the Independence Day Concert for Cancer that's going on actually July 2nd and 3rd. Yes. So tell us how this all came about, and this has been going on for a few years now. Uh, this is our fourth year. Um, we started off on Georgia Street, kind of small, uh, four years ago. This year we're moving to Pan Am Plaza. Uh, but it all started off ago. I was diagnosed with cancer, leukemia specifically, in June of 1999. And at the time, I was 37. I was told I'd have 8 to 12 years to live. Uh, I went through a lot of stuff, a lot of chemo, had part of my lung taken out. Uh, they thought I would die several times. And I eventually had a bone marrow transplant in 2006. And after that, I, it appeared I was going to make it. Yeah. Um, great. And I thought if I make it to 50, I'm going to have a big party because it will, I will have outlived the expectations. Mm -hmm. And uh, it started out as a party with some friends and maybe get some kegs of beer and find an empty field. And it turned into let's do something bigger and make some money to give back to people. And that's really where this started. Uh, it took a while to get it rolling. Um, in our first year, uh, was success and every year we've gotten a little bit bigger and better. So not to, you know, tell your age, but you made it to 50. Made it to 50. And some. And some. Glad you're here, yeah. man. Okay, so this year is different and Real Scene TV, we've been covering this every since, year, every year yeah. since you started. Yes. But again, this year's different. So talk about what is different this year. Uh, this year we've moved off of Georgia Street mm -hmm. uh, for a number of different reasons. We're on Pan Am Plaza. Probably the biggest difference, it's always been on July 4th before. This year, July 4th is on a Monday, so we decided to do it before July 4th, and it's actually a two-day event. Uh, we decided to do that for several logistical reasons as well, but it's two days, uh, very different genres of music. Uh, Saturday is kind of a rap day. Uh, our headliner is Ludacris. Uh -huh. uh, we have Mike Studd and the Lost Kings, local bands, we have Charlie Breeze, Sirius Black, uh, Breakdown Kings, Audacity, and Coastal. And then we kind of switched to the second genre on Sunday, the third. Uh, X103 has been involved with us in the past, so we've kind of gone alternative rock on Sunday. Okay. We have AWOL Nation as our headliner, um, the Congos, and Blue October as our kind of national um, openers. And then locally we have um, Standout Story, which has been with us, I believe every year, of uh, Viseria, uh, Brother O oh Brother, and Moxie. Man, the list goes on and on. So yeah. two days jam packed, that's amazing. So again, we talked about the beginning that you had leukemia yourself. And so not only are, going, are people going to be able to see these great bands, but it also, all this is to benefit. Yes. So what are you benefiting? Who is the money going for? And how much success have you had? How much money have you raised in the past? Well, I, I, when this started, I formed my own foundation and very cleverly named it the Lintner Foundation because that's the best I could come up with. Mm -hmm. But uh, So all the money goes to the Lintner Foundation. The Lintner Foundation is a charitable organization that gives money to cancer patients or their families. It's not intended to provide research. It's not intended uh, to really support scientists, or it's to really to, to help people pay for things that insurance doesn't. Mm -hmm. Gas, food, lodging, uh, treatments, co-pays, whatever. Yeah. Uh, I mean, fortunately, we've been, we've been pretty lucky. We've raised uh, about over $160,000 the first three years. Uh, I'm hoping this year is, is bigger and better. Um, so we need to sell tickets, mm -hmm. we need to sell sponsorships. but. Uh, yeah, it's been, it's... Have you partnered with some charities for this year? 
We, uh, this year, um, we've given money to the St. Francis uh, Bone Marrow Transplant Patient Assistance Fund. They provide money uh, directly to patients and they also have apartments at the St. Francis Cancer Center where patients and their families can live and we've helped to basically finance those. Uh, our other partner this year, again this year they were a partner last year, will be Riley Hospital and they have a kind of a sub-foundation that is, um, it provides direct monies to patient care, pediatric cancer patients and their families. So definitely a worthwhile cause. I think so, yeah. Jam-packed two days. Now the question is, how do we get tickets to come see this? Uh, you can go to the website. Uh, it's indy, I-N-D-Y, pendantsday.com, and there's a link on there to buy tickets. You can buy them at Karma. Uh, there'll be multiple events on the radio. We have uh, multiple radio partners this year. Uh, Alt 103 again, we got 96.3, 100.9. Uh, so if you listen to those, they'll, they're gonna be having various um, events uh, where there'll be free ticket giveaways and things like that. And you can get them for a single day or for two days? Or... Yes, yes, a, a general mission. Uh, per day is $30. A pit pass, which you get right up next to the stage, is $50. The two-day general mission is $50, and the two-day pit pass is $90. Again, thank you so much, Scott Littner, for being with us today, and thank you for coming in here. Again, the Independence Day Concert for Cancer is on July 2nd and 3rd at Pan Am Plaza downtown. You can purchase single-day or two-day passes at independencedaycom Welcome to the Recorder Minute. I'm Kelly Patrick Sloan, copy editor and writer at the Indianapolis Recorder newspaper. If you have yet to subscribe to the Recorder, now is a great time to do so. Right now, new subscribers will be entered for a chance to win a trip for two to Tennessee. The two-day, one-night trip will take you on a luxury motor coach to the Underground Railroad Museum, the Museum of American Soul Music, the National Civil Rights Museum, the Beale Street Blues District, and more. Sign up for your recorder and your chance to win this trip at IndianapolisRecorder.com or pick up a copy of the paper and find a subscription form inside. And the giveaways don't stop there. Follow us on Facebook for your chance to win tickets to see the Indianapolis Indians or the Indiana Fever. We'll be giving away tickets all season. Find us at Facebook.com slash Indianapolis Recorder. Finally, if you have a story idea or a letter to the editor, if you want to place a classified ad or share an announcement, or if you just want to promote your event, you can do it online. Just visit us on our website at IndianapolisRecorder.com. Well, if you're going to the race tomorrow, have fun and be safe. And speaking of Indy and Indiana, don't you love Indiana? Well, we do, and we'd love to hear why you do too. Make a post with the hashtag LoveIndiana for a chance to win a free Love Indiana tee from MidwestLeak.com. Check the Real Scene TV Facebook page for posts of the winners. Well, that's it. Thank you for watching Real Scene TV. If you want to have your business advertised on the show, reach out to us on Facebook. Have a good night and always keep it real. Pray for me. But, uh, I want you to uh, pray a specific prayer. Pray that I will find out the numbers to the lottery. Uh, Powerball, no, you could pray for something else, that's what you was gonna pray for, not getting the Powerball. But um, I am a, a member of Northeast Side Missionary Apostolic Baptist on the hill, down by the rock, sitting around the tree, down by Old Man Johnson's farm. Real Scene TV is paid for by Leland Brown State Farm Insurance Agency.